percussion is great because it's opened the door on so many colors. If composers write me a percussion concerto, um, you know, we have, we have no idea what instruments, I mean, is it going to be a marimba concerto? Is it going to use only unpitched percussion? All these huge questions come in at the front of the, the process. It's a kind of a um, crystalline sort of presentation of music for percussion that Colin really brilliantly uh, is able to sort of um, give to the audience because his abilities are technically so high and, and also his musicality is very strong. So um, any stuff that you throw at him, he'll deal with very efficiently and very well and very sensitively. We don't have to talk a lot in rehearsals and we, it, it feels like we have a similar attitude also in the concert. Um, it just feels very right. Oh. I was studying at the Academy. I met Steve Martland while I was studying there and he needed a new marimba player for the band. And Dave was very involved with Steve at that time. And we met and, and he brought with him a CD of some material oh, well, that he'd been that. working oh. on. And he plugged it into the PA of the gig. Oh, did I? Yeah, and let it rip. And this incredible, ridiculous music came out. He was just doing some amazing things and using samples. And I, um, I needed some new material for my recitals, basically. Um, and uh, I just thought, I want some of that. And that led to the commissioning of Trilogy, which I... I commissioned personally. I paid him pittance. <laughs> and he wrote me the piece that I played more than any other piece of music. And I played it, you know, 50 times. That led to a sort of companion piece called Sense and Innocence, which was commissioned by Lucerne Festival. Mm -hmm. And then for my percussion duo, we commissioned uh, Shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then just a variety of things since then. All the kind of projects I've had, or little collaborations, like things I've had, project with Organ, and then of course the project with Hawken Hardenberger. He's been the, the composer in the court of King Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's an incredible soloist on an unusual instrument. And he's always been a, an inspiration to me And in the way he works with composers. The more I found out about it, the more I, f I thought, well, this is really, this is the kind of thing that I want to be doing. We tried out a couple of pieces and had this belter of a gig in, in Germany somewhere. And, and then we thought, well, let, let's, let's do something. I think trumpet and percussion is really good. They kind of help each other. On their own, that's kind of missing a few things. I can't really play long notes. Hawken can't play a lot of bass, but you know, with it, get the marimba and the trumpet, and you know, off you go. Both instruments also have almost a, a primitive side to them, if you would like. You know, I remember Bert Whistle said he, when he wrote a concerto for me, he wanted the trumpet to hit him physically, and I think both instruments has the capability of doing that. At home, there was a lot of classical music going on, and apparently, when I was really small, um, what I liked listening to was Mahler songs. And then after that, I, I kind of fell in with pop music and wanted to be a, a pop musician, so I played a lot of drum kit. And then I, I uh, joined National Youth Orchestra of Scotland and really found a way back into um, classical music. I do like playing with orchestras. I think percussion works really well with symphony orchestra, so I'm 
ambitious for the, my concerto repertoire, and I'm always trying to get good new pieces for that. Collaborating with another musician in close contact, like with Hawken, um, is, is kind of extra focused, and you can really uh, concentrate on that. And if there's, if there's two of you really going for it together, you know you can rely on him, he's going to be giving as much as you are, and that, that's, that's very rewarding. I'm really aware of uh, wanting to play music of exceptional quality um, and as a solo percussionist I think this is what has been really been lacking and this is where I attempt through the composers that I work with. I, I, I need them more than anyone, more than anything to write me great music and then I just try and play their music as well as I can. I mean I'm definitely at the service of the, of the composer. Well, I'll be playing the Macmillan Concerto this summer at the Proms, Veni Veni Emanuel. The concerto that um, we're getting off the ground is extremely exciting. It's by Simon Holt, and that's uh, going to be premiered um, next year. Simon started the concerto, and it's really interesting, and uh, it's going to be a very different percussion concerto. Absolutely not a concerto like that anywhere from any instrument. And then we've commissioned um, pieces for the duo with Hawken, so the new Dave Marrick work. And uh, Lucas Ligeti is also writing us a piece for the work with Hawken. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now. Uh, I want to play to a wide audience. I want to play to a good audience, play with good orchestras, and keep getting good new pieces. It's very kind of straightforward, but that, that's what I want to do, and that works, and that's what I enjoy. <laughs>